I love working in surgery because I think every day is different. There is no bad anymore. Mary, don't give up your faith, OK? The best thing about being a GP is making a difference in people's everyday lives. OK, sorry, I might have just ruined your hair. <laughs> it's fine. Patients here are fantastic. Uh, they keep you on your toes. Don't don't think I'm that crazy. Yeah? Uh, I'm not I... into that stage anymore. Don't make me a psycho. I've had a good life. Mm. I've got two beautiful daughters, two beautiful granddaughters, and a great grandson. Mm. If I die tomorrow, I got no complaints. I've been sent into... It's like being sent to Coventry. <laughs> so I'm looking at your finger again, I'm is that right? Mm. Which one is it? Uh, that's a giveaway, isn't it? morning is the worst time. Mm. I would like to give you prayers, because to me, you're not David Ward, you're Saint David. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, that's very kind of you to say that, but um, I, think, I think the saints may feel that they're being reduced in stature if I'm, I'm elevated to that you're, level. You're, Mary. you're in... In my estimation, anyway, you are... That's my opinion of you. Well, that's very kind of you to say that. Now, listen, um, yeah, you've had, you've had one on each hand. Are you happy for me to do it again? I'm happy with you to go ahead. I'm going to leave it to last. But I'm going to tell you now, you know, the X-ray you sent me for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was kind enough to refer me to Exxon Park. OK, yes. Because his words to me were... It's eight years since I've had the tumour removed. OK. And his words for me were... That it could Keep talking, I'm just going to get this ready. Yeah, keep talking. It could be the cancer come back, but it had gone to my bones. And I, see, I went in and I seen Dr Hale, she introduced herself and she said, I'm a cancer doctor. That's very good service, isn't it? So, she said, it's very unlikely yep. that it's cancer. Yep. But... She wants those bloods and the MRI done before I see her next week. Yes. I mean, OK, I'm lucky. It's eight years since I had it. Yep. I didn't even have to have chemo. No, that's right. Do you know what? My oldest son, he turned around and he said to me, there is no God anymore. Well... And I said, you know, Tony, I'm having second thoughts. Mary, don't give up your faith, OK? You bought chocolate? Always. Oh, I love you. Bit of chocolate in the morning never hurt anyone. Diamantino Perez. Hiya. Hi. Hi. Uh, my problem is, for my age, I am uh, missing quite a lot of hair. OK, so when you say you're missing quite a lot of hair, what do you mean? There's a lot of hair. It's... OK. It's missed a lot since more than one year. It's not... Is it only when you brush it and wash it, or is it just falling out? Is you it... noticing that it's just... No, it's just falling out sometimes when I did this. Touch, just yeah. put my hair straight. Sure. Three, four come on my hand. OK. Every time. OK. And it's quite nerve wracking you know. Okay. Is there any ideas what you might think is going on? Um, you, you get a, a de uh, depression from the school. What? Uh, depression. 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 Okay. Yeah, from school, oh. you take medication too. Okay. <laughs> any family history of sort of hair loss or um, what we call vitiligo oh, with, with the? My, my dad, the back, but. Okay. Oh, is your dad a bit older? See, now? Right yeah. now, I just <laughs> touched it and one came my hand. Okay. Hair loss is not very common in teenage boys. However, it can occur in some situations. 
The most common cause of hair loss is male pattern baldness. This can actually start developing after puberty in late teens, early 20s. Other causes are alopecia areata, psychological emotional stress, thyroid conditions, hairstyling and treatments. Can I just have a look at your yeah, hair, yeah. first of all, see what's going on here? Um, OK, so you don't have any specific patches where it's all kind of come out in one yeah. sort of bulk, but, yeah, it's a little bit thin in some areas. OK, yeah. sorry, I might have just ruined your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. OK, so I think sometimes if you're um, low in iron, that can cause you to have sort of hair loss. And, yes, sometimes stress can have an effect on it, OK? And yes. sometimes it's just one of those things, you know, the hair, the hair grows in cycles, and sometimes it just means that the cycle is all at the same time, so it appears that more's falling out than normal. Um, but the first thing we would want to check is sort of iron levels yeah. and see if that's a possibility, because, like you said, you're growing, so it may just be like that. Yeah. What's your diet like? Diet, yeah. It's salad, not... fruit, yeah. Ah, well, you yes. eat a lot of salad. Yeah, I'm not a very because... normal kid. I like the healthy stuff. <laughs> OK. Um, so your diet seems like it's good, but you are growing, so sometimes these things can happen. And are you particularly stressed at the moment? No. No? Not really, no. no. Got it's... exams or anything? No, when what, you, what year when are you at school? Uh, year 10. OK, so first year GCSE, so the stress is coming next year. Yeah. OK. All right, so let's do some blood tests and then we'll see what the results of that come back and then we'll have a chat about it, OK? OK, let's go do it. All right, bye-bye. Thank you. Appointment to Musa? Yes, yeah? please. How can I help? Um, since yesterday, um, he had cough and mm. uh, flu, okay. and uh, then um, high temperature. Okay. So I gave him um, Nerofin. Mm -hmm. uh, it didn't work, and uh, he's, he just kept crying. Okay. Yeah. Um, has he had a messy nappy? Um, yesterday he did, yes, but after that last whole night now. OK. Uh, one thing which yeah. I felt that he's breathing not well because he's forcing something uh -huh. like that when he was breathing. OK. And no rashes at all? No. Hello, you. Hello. Who's a strange man? Eh? Hey? Got really long eyelashes, isn't he? Oh, you're not very happy, Bunny, are you? Yeah, oh, OK. So, Mum, when I'm having a look at his chest, I can see what you mean. He really is struggling with the breathing, actually. Yeah, yeah. So he's sucking in underneath his rib every time he's breathing in. So it may be that there's an infection in the lung. Because the breathing is quite rapid, um, I'm not really happy to leave it like this. So I'm going to reach about 110. Oh, at least. At least. At least. My mum always said, better the devil you know. You know, I wish I'd have never give up smoking. I'd have been better off. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Are you taking any sugar? You're eating no sugar? I'm eating biscuits and jar. I think no. that's what it was. Biscuits have the three things in life we do not need. Salt, sugar and fat. You'd be better off without the biscuits. <laughs> Mary, don't give up your faith. Why is it all happening? I can't answer that. No, you can't. I can't answer There that. is no answer. All we can do is try our best. Mary has had an episode of cancer a number of years ago. She had a bowel cancer which had to be removed. She's one of the most stoic people I think I've ever met. Uh, she never complains about herself um, and she's always concerned more about other people rather than herself.
whether you are a believer or not, I think people do better when they feel that there is somebody out there that may be helping their lives. I'm not a huge believer myself, but I've seen how people can get support. And I think, you know, places like churches or mosques or synagogues, whatever the faith is, uh, are able to provide a great deal of support, particularly in trying times. And I think that's why she needs to, she needs to stay with it. Now, spin around a little bit more and pop that hand up here. That's good. Let's pop that now, out Now, I here. know this is going to hurt. Right. Now, listen... And I'm sure you love doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite as saint-like as you thought, then. <laughs> you are a saint. You are, you are a wonderful gentleman. OK, Mary, try and hold as still as you can. I'm sorry about that. Well done. Do you know what? The liquid going in hurts more than the needle. Probably. What I might do is see if I can get you back in again in a couple of weeks, maybe, yeah? And mm -hmm. then we can see how that's going, yeah? Yeah. I'm talking to my head. Why don't you write to your people in Australia and tell them to send a, a sack full of nice weather over here? <laughs> what are people going to do if they can't complain about the weather? It's a national pastime, Mary. It's no nature, I presume. So <laughs> thank you so very, very much for seeing me again. I know I'm a new nuisance. I won't swear. <laughs> oh, Mary. Let's see how you get on, hey? And I'll see you on the 15th. Thank you. And you are still St David. <laughs> you definitely are. <laughs> OK, Mary. Thank you. Bye-bye, then. Bye. Hi, could you do the paediatric red on call, please, for a referral? It's one of the GPs in Slough. Thank you. Oh, hi, uh, my name's uh, Amit. I'm one of the uh, GP regs in uh, Slough. Hi, I've got a baby that I'm a bit concerned about. Um, it's a 16-week-old um, boy, uh, Musa Syed. My main concern is that he's febrile at 38.1, with a respirator of between 60 and 70, and there is subcostal recession and some crackles at the right base. Yeah. Blood. Sure. Sure. OK. Thank you. Bye. OK. So that was the paediatric doctor, so they're happy. Are you OK? Yeah. It's all right. Look, the, the, the paediatric doctor did say that usually, in most cases, this is a, a virus that causes um, difficulty in the airways, OK? And, and typically, babies get, very, get better with this, OK, after some observation. Um, but obviously we're just being careful because the breathing rate is quite fast and because he seems to be working quite hard. Yeah. Um, he may well need to have some blood tests okay. just to make sure there aren't any serious signs of infection, OK? But if those are all normal and baby improves, then you may be able to go home today, OK? okay? So, you know, I, I, I can understand it's worrying, um, but, you know, they'll take good care of him and do what's necessary. OK. Thank you very much. Okay. Take a seat through in the waiting room. Uh, Just through there. How are you today? Basically, my ankle and my leg, yeah. believe it or not, keeps swelling up so bad, I'm in pain in my thigh, the back of my leg and my back. Mm. Now, I know I've got type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. and they keep checking my ankles and feet to make sure the blood flowing for them. It's constantly swelling up. So, but this swelling, is it something new or recent? No, I've had it for years. What was the trigger why you came today? It's getting to the pain, pain now, and I can't hardly walk on it. OK. What about the left leg? Is left okay? leg's fine. Mm. So let's do a little check now today, a quick mm. check on your legs. Mm -hmm. Any pain when I press there? No. Mm -hmm. Ah, that hurts. Yeah. yeah. And when I move the, I can only go up and down. Up and down, yeah. That's fine. Any pain there? Not at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want me to put these back on now? Yes. 
I wasn't expecting to come straight around here, to be honest with you. Okay. So clearly, um, a certain amount of retention of the fluid is allowed, especially if you had a previous surgery or yeah, uh, fusion surgery really and this. everything. Do you smoke? I do smoke, yeah. How much do you smoke? Uh, all depends, to be quite honest with you. Mm. Sometimes, um, if I'm bored, I would say roughly between 20 and 30 in a night. So you do know that the smoking is injurious to health? Yes, I, uh, after all these years, I think so, yeah. How many years have you smoked? I've been smoking since I was about 11. OK. Smoking is injurious to health. <laughs> it can cause cancer, lung cancer, and issues oh, well, like that. Yeah. I'm not being disrespectful to anybody. Mm. I've had a good life. Mm. I've got two beautiful daughters, two beautiful granddaughters, and a great grandson. Mm. If I die tomorrow, I ain't got no complaints. Mm. OK. Um, so help is available mm -hmm. um, once you're ready to quit. Um, but you have mentioned what you've mentioned now. So we'll have to just um, leave it there, but also please be sort of aware yeah, that there's an yeah. offer there. Yeah, okay? I understand, yeah. As a first um, uh, thing, I would uh, recommend or advise that we get an X-ray done mm. and look at options of whether you need to be further seen by the orthopedic doctors. So you can walk in between 8 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock in the evening to Wexham Park Hospital on any of the weekdays. Oh, great stuff. That's even mm. better. It's a walk-in service, yeah. So I can actually just walk in Just here. walk in and say, my doctor has ordered the X-ray online in the, his GP clinical system. Dr. Lee, yeah. Uh, Dr. Nanda, myself. OK? Cheers. All right, Thank so you much indeed. All Cheers the best. Yeah, any more friend, take it easy. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye. Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, don't get, don't all get up. Like you know, just sit there. You know. <laughs> You've got work to do. Tea, like, you know? You've got work to do. <laughs> Alana Burnett Thomas. Hello. Come on through. You're all right. Yeah, you're okay. That pesky nose of yours, is it again? I know. She has them four or five times a day. Last night she had one for about 40 minutes. The school oh. phoned me today. Yeah. So it started at nine and. It like ended after assembly. Did it? So, How yeah. long's assembly? Like 20 minutes. Oh my goodness. That it... did go on a bit, didn't it? So I was just lining up from Breakfast Club and I was just about to go and then it was just dripping. And is it, is it that right nostril or is that this side? One, yeah. And what do you do when it starts? Uh, so do you pinch your nose? Brilliant. Yeah. Good girl. I think the teacher helped because it went on from 9 to 11. Yeah. It, through the assembly, I think the teacher pinched onto it for about 15 minutes. For like yeah. That. Any signs of tiredness or anything mm -hmm. like that? Are you any concerned in any way? I don't think so, no. And are they, is, it, is, is it a lot that she's losing? Can I have a little peek up your nose? Is that all right? OK, promise. I'm just going to literally put that at the edge of your nose. It's going to go in a little bit. Is that OK? Good girl. Yeah, it's, you can see it's at the bottom of the nostril, right at the back. Right. Where it's where it is. You've obviously got a weak vessel there. OK. That's what my teacher keeps me saying. She says I've got a weak vessel and they keep on bursting. She says, sit in the shade and stop running around. Yeah, because if you get a bit hot yeah, dilated, course, that yeah. can do it. Yeah. But it's still got to be looked into, yeah, really, okay. for her. No problem. Does she ever vomit as well? Because it goes, trickles into the back of the throat. Yeah. Yeah. She, this is what's really upsetting her. If now. you are sick, should I tell you why it's happening? When the blood trickles down into your tummy, your, your tummy doesn't like it being in there. So because it doesn't like the blood, it makes you sick to get rid of it. So it literally every day it happens. Yeah. Not just once either. How many do you have at school? You have a couple at school and then a couple at home, don't you? Yeah. It's four times. And it is every single like day. Like this whole week I've had no Since days. September. By Wednesday, yeah. phone in okay. and just see if there's an update yeah. at all with the referral no and problem. we can see what's going on. Does that yeah, sound OK that. with you? Yeah, that's lovely. Brilliant. OK, then. All Thank right. you very Take much. Take care. I'm this. sorry you're going through this. <laughs> <laughs> Look okay, after yourself. Bye-bye. <laughs> people get through life without being able to read or write? Like, when they... When, how do they pass their driving test? She probably doesn't drive. How can I help you? 
an incident happened and I got injured on my eye. Mm. I woke up this morning and it was really hurting and watering. Okay, and what happened? You got a punch to the face? Yeah. Okay. And it was swollen and you can see there's a cut underneath where they've glued it. Okay, I've looked at the letter. It says the CT scan didn't show a fracture or anything, yeah. you know, of the orbital. So that's the bones mm. around the eye. Yeah. Um, and they said that the scan in the brain didn't show a bleed or anything. So they obviously discharged you. And did you lose any consciousness when it happened? For a couple of minutes, yes. Since Saturday, have you had any vomiting? No. Any double vision? Um, it's a bit blurry, that's about it. Just switch this light on. Look down for me. Oh. Is that hurting? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to have a look. Mm -hmm. So this pupil's contracting quicker than this one. It's still narrowing, but not as much as the other eye. So I think mm -hmm. looking at the eye and, and the health of the eye and your symptoms, I don't think there's anything too nasty mm -hmm. going on, but in case there's um, a scratch on the surface of the eye mm -hmm. and the fact that your eye's now watering and the pain's getting slightly worse mm -hmm. does concern me. You need to get the eye looked at properly. And when you tell them what's going on, they should hopefully see you straight away. What I need to do today is just examine the knees. Yeah. Does that cause you pain when I'm bending it? Mm -hmm. Discomfort. That's not pain. That's fine. Put me things back on. OK. So it's... Difficult to say what's causing your pain at the moment. When I'm moving your knee, it's got a good range of movement, actually. So I think, you know, we, a first point of call would be an X-ray. That We can we can arrange that. Um, usually takes about a week for us to get the report. That's fine. Yeah. In the meantime, uh, how do you feel about some physiotherapy, maybe? As far as it stops yeah. it hurting, I don't yeah. know. Now, if any symptoms, if you ever get it sort of locking if in, in a straight position like that and it gets stuck, um, or the giving way gets worse, obviously, come back and see us. That's yeah. <laughs> Um, there was one other thing mm -hmm. um, I wanted to talk. Um, uh, I've been really... I've been getting angry very quick recently. Mm -hmm. um, my wife's noticed it a lot. Mm. Um, I did have depression a while back. Okay. Um, I just don't want it coming back, if you know what I mean. Mm. And this seems to be a, a thing that happens. OK. Um, I just needed to talk, to, not talk to someone, but yeah. mention it, because yeah. I don't like the way it's going, yeah. to be fair. Well, I can see you look quite anxious. Yeah. yeah. And how long has this been sort of affecting you for more recently? Um, a few months. Um, it hasn't helped, because I lost my dad last week. I'm so <laughs> But I haven't been sleeping very well either, mm. um, so I don't know. But it's been going on for a couple of months. And then right. with that, it's just... OK, Come it's on. kind of made things a bit worse. Yeah. Presumably. yeah. OK. And who else is at home with you? Is it just, just, just your wife? my wife. Was your father's passing, was it expected or was it...? No, not yeah. expected. No. Um, but that isn't what's caused this. No, no, you, you, you know, things it's, are going it's, on It's been that. going on for a yeah. while. Yeah. And, and, have you identified any things that, that could have made things worse over the last few months? I can think of it's just no. me. No. <laughs> How are things at work? Yeah, OK. Good. And things between yourself and your wife otherwise? Yeah, fine. Yeah? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, OK. I, I, I just don't know what it is. Hmm. Do you feel low in yourself? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, I feel quite bruised, almost like someone's taken my ovary out and punched it a few times and put it back in. It's really sore. And what's happening is that when I'm urinating, I'm mm. getting a lot of... It feels like I've been getting a stitch. Two weeks ago, I took all this yes. paracetamol and codeine. It was worse. It was like a drug for me. When I'm coughing, yeah, it really yeah. burns. Yeah. Like, it feels like a mini explosion inside my chest. It's very sore down there on the right, isn't it? I know you said you've had this sort of pain before. It's in the right place for your appendix. I know you haven't got a temperature, but you are guarding in that area. So I think I need to ask someone to see at the hospital today just to check. 
Do you ever get any harmful thoughts? I have, but not to the point where, you know, I've sort of, don't be so stupid to myself yeah. kind of thing. Okay. You know, it's, it's, the, the, thought, thought, it's the thought, it's the thought, then it's dismissed, yeah. yeah. So no specific plans to ever no. happen? Oh, no, 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 no. 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 Okay, no, okay. Definitely not. Had you had a thought as to as to what you might want to do to try and start I, improving I things? I don't know. My mm. my freedom was um, going out on my bike. Okay. I can't do it. No, because of your pain. I'm not allowed to do it. Yeah. So I mean, there's a few options, and I think it largely depends on on how you want to kind of approach things now. Um, you were on medications before, and that's one of the ways in which we try and help people who are suffering with symptoms of depression, but. Um, that really just kind of, it's not a cure as such. It can try and control the symptoms, but, but really to get to the root of things, we often recommend counselling as one option. Um, it's called talking therapies in this area, but essentially it's a form of counselling. Um, have you ever had something like that before? I haven't, and to be fair, I don't feel comfortable no. doing that. Yeah, OK. I don't talk. Yeah. I mean, what we can do is start you on a tablet again for, for your mood. Okay. Okay. Something called uh, sertraline. All right. Very similar to citalopram. Typically, things can get a bit worse for the first sort of week or so being on the medication, but then, generally speaking, after the first month, you should hopefully, if you're going to see improvements, you start seeing them. Okay. How does that sound? Would you want to consider that? I'll try. Yeah, I'll try yeah. and see what happens. Okay. Um, and then. Uh, maybe we can see you again in a couple of weeks' time, see how things are getting on. Okay. Yeah. Thank All right. Thank you very much, sir. OK. Cheers. Take no care. problem. Take care. If I can see someone to get uh, wax taken out of my ear because I'm having problems Are you hearing. patient in surgery? Sorry? Are you patient in the surgery? Um, well, I'm from Australia, no. From Australia. What you can do, you can go to the walk-in centre. That's the address it is. It's in the high street. Because they'll probably tell you to um, put drops in your ears, just loosen the wax anyway. Surely somebody oh, yeah. can do that. I, I know, but you, ha you can't get it done here. because First of all, you're not registered. It takes ten minutes. I know. That's the only person people can help you if you want the number. This okay? is stupid. But it's not stupid because you're not registered here. Well, it's like the World Cup final, isn't it? What happened there? You know, we finally managed to come back a little bit, and then they just they just knew just yeah. how to put the foot on the accelerator. So you're not doing well, mate. According to this uh, essay that I can see in here, I just don't know where I'm going. I'm so why. What's happened oh, I've got loads differently? Of things. I've got loads of things going on in my life at the moment. Three weeks ago, yeah, he actually attacked me. That's uh, my wrist up, yeah? OK. I got arrested for assault. I'm out on bail for a ABH, yeah? I've got two witnesses who said he's attacked me, but I haven't even questioned them. I mean, all this is just... And then I get home on Sunday, got a letter from a copper, we need to speak to you. So I found up, we said, oh, your dog's been reported for attacking people and children. We need to sort it out. And I started losing my... Because I just started losing it big time, yeah? And I just left the phone on and walked away, yeah? Because mm. I, I, I just couldn't answer it, yeah? I just could not answer the question. I've known David for many, many years. He has a number of problems that were going on, one of which was uh, a fall um, uh, whilst having an altercation, which led to an injury, and he ended up having to, to go and, and have an X-ray. So two problems, firstly, the, uh, the wrist and his pain, but secondly, uh, the altercation and what came after that, which is affecting him quite, uh, quite badly. Yeah, it's just constantly, yeah, and I mean, Sunday, yeah, I just lost it big time, and I literally got home and I was, I, I had my drugs out and everything, and I was quite happy just mm. to, to, to end it all, because I, uh, it's just, at the moment, no one seems to be giving up. Well, I'm sorry about the language, but I, I, that's how I am really... Mate, I can understand how you feel, because, you know, not many people have that many things going on at the same time, do they? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You've had this and this and this and this and this, and they're all getting on top of you to the point yeah. where you're at breaking point. 
Um, two things. Okay. Firstly, I want to get you back next week and see how you're getting on. Okay. Yeah. You know, I don't have a miracle for you. You know, I don't. I can't change all of those things for you. No, I know. Do you know what but... I mean? But I can listen to you and I can agree with you and we can talk about ways forward that you might be able to take to try and try yeah. and help this out. Miss Rist, I've got. Hang on. There was a letter sent to you, but I know you don't. Or well, you don't read it. One of the two. Yeah. About this wrist, yeah. One consultant, one consultant is saying it's broken. The other one saying it's not. I'm in absolute agony with it, yeah. Uh, I'm in absolute agony with it, especially around this area. Okay, we need to X-ray that again. Because your pain is down in here, yeah. in that area there. Yeah, it's all. It's okay, so if I press in there, so this is what we call yeah. your. Oh, right, so it doesn't matter right around here, this area is really... But you've got a little bone under here yeah. that if you break that bone, then it can run into real trouble, OK? I mean, the not... difficulty is that it doesn't always show up straight away on X-ray. I mean, the bruising's gone down a hell of a lot, yeah? And it wasn't any... It wasn't so any... you are sore in there, aren't you? Yeah. OK, so we, we re It wasn't any um, swelling as such. What I want to do... OK, so there's two bits to this, OK? I've organised an X-ray for that, OK? okay? You need to go tomorrow to right. Wexham, OK? Yeah between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Yeah, no. Okay, they will do special views to try and look at that, that bone, yeah. okay? We're going to continue this conversation next week. Yeah. Okay, mate. This is the problem. No, this... I know you you only got a short time to see me, yeah? And, yeah. I mean... <laughs> sorry, yeah, I know, but... Yeah, I mean, I... I know I, look, I understand, mate, and I understand it's your frustration, and I understand how you're feeling, yeah. and I understand exactly what it is. This is to try and help you sleep a little bit at night. All right. Okay, two in the evening. They're not addictive or anything like that. They're, they're side effects that make you sleepy. It's no guarantee, but it might help a little bit, and next week you can tell me how you're getting on with them. All right. OK, mate. Look, we'll have a chat next week, OK? Yeah. Uh, but... Ooh. I have no family I can actually go and speak to. I might go on a Jeremy Carr show and be an idiot here, like all the rest. Oh, yeah. done. They done. always seem to be on Benny Piss and... <laughs> yeah. We walk on stage and it's supposed to be on disability benefit. Yeah. But if you go on Jeremy Carr, they'll end up punching somebody, won't you? Yeah, well, and well, that'll be all over and then you'll be back in front of the police station. Yeah, so I just... Thanks, well, thanks. Cheers, mate. Final road surgery has been to Pam Hacken out. Oh, hello. Uh, how can I help you? I yeah. was diagnosed with anorexia nervosa and so I was in and out of food disorder clinics and things like that and so they said to go for a bone scan just to check on things and, mm -hmm. and it was found that my bone density was quite low. I oh. was told that I had early onset osteoporosis then. I was told that uh, a follow-up scan would need to be done two years later, so that would have been 2012, and it, uh -huh. I've still not had it done yet. Oh, right. And I was kind of worrying, because, like, when I get up, mostly in the mornings, like, I really ache. It takes me a while to get, be able to get out of bed, and, like, and I'm just uh -huh. worried about, like, as I get older, with osteoporosis now, that it's uh -huh. going to affect me more. Yeah. How old were you in that time? 14, 15. 14. And now, since then, are you eating all right? Better, yeah. Much all right. Better. You look happy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, OK. A lot healthier than I was. And uh, how, how is your weight doing? Good, I think. You put on weight? Yeah. OK. And how about your periods? Good. Yeah? Fine, absolutely Passing fine. Passing urine, bowels? Yeah. And you mentioned this for joint pains, or is it just yeah, one thing? Yeah, just pain? general aches and pains. More oh. so when I'm active, like if I'm doing a lot of walking, and I play football quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So more so then, I ache a lot after, whereas like normally someone might ache a bit after the gym, like I ache thoroughly after the gym. Are you on any medication on a regular base? Not now, no. Like steroids or anything like that? No, nothing no? like that. I never have All right, been. OK. And what do you do? Do you work or are you studying at the moment? I'm an SEN teaching assistant at the moment. All right. How is that going on? Great. OK. All right. So basically, you want to make sure that you know you have yeah. a scan and that you don't have osteoporosis or Just is it not progress? It's not progressed and got worse. All right, OK. Now have a quick look at the notes, if that's yeah. OK with you. Were you given some vitamin D tablets and things as well at the yeah, time? Yeah, I was given Adcal D3. Mm hmm So your BMI is OK at the moment, but I think it should be OK to organise a scan. The reason why I was doing it is because there are certain criteria we need, yeah. to, need to meet for a scan, mm -hmm. and sometimes they're rejected. All right, so that's done. OK, thank you. OK. Uh, obviously, if you don't hear from them in two to three weeks' time, just ring the secretaries to find out the, if the form has been uh, anywhere declined or anything. Okay. Yeah? Uh, okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah.
Sini. Uh, Daniel Zaloga, please. <coughs> okay, how are things? Yeah, I come down with you. I've got a small problem. Actually, it's a habit. I do smoke ganja for a couple of years now, and it came to that stage. It started ruining my life, relationship, yeah. and stuff like that. I end up in police station. I called the police. Yeah, she, my mum, she went police because I, I was. I called police because he. I lost the control of my brain and body. What happened? In the morning on Friday, he called to me and he told me I, I killed myself, blah, blah, blah. You see one person mm. inside is two guys. Mm. It's, one is good, one is bad. Mm. Sometimes he don't have a control okay. of his self. It's not that I don't control, I just got short temper. Daniel, don't have a control because he is a little bit angry. How do you feel about this? I mean, is that, would you say that's, that's true? Yeah, that's Sort of a true. When I, I've got a short temper, I'm not going to say I've got a yeah. short temper. OK, OK. He needs help. Yeah, I need some sort of medication to come off from marijuana. Daniel was a 23-year-old guy that I saw with his mum. I've seen quite a few patients now in their early 20s who come with, with parents or girlfriends. I think it's quite common now. Um, and actually, for me as a GP, it gives me quite a nice insight to speak to a relative as well. It gives me an idea of, of, of how cannabis use is actually affecting other people in their lives. How long have you been smoking marijuana for? Oh, my gosh, my friend, I've been smoking for... Around eight years. Eight years now. Mm -hmm. he, he smoked around 15 joint a day. 15, okay. so yes. over 3.5 grams in a day. Mm -hmm. I'm even reaching five grams in a day. OK. And, um, and apart from marijuana, any other drugs that you take? No. Or any tablets or any injecting? No. no. OK. And do you drink alcohol? Once in a blue mood. Once in a blue mood. Like okay. everyone. Okay. okay. Do you ever, just a few other questions about your, your mental health. Yeah. Uh, do you ever see or hear things that aren't no, there? No, Anything no, like that? No, Nothing no, like that? No, I didn't okay. get to that level. At the moment, maybe yeah. no. At <laughs> the moment. Yeah. yeah. He have an after, and so, you know, like this. You mentioned... No, 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 you... listen. Don't, don't think I'm that crazy, yeah? Uh, you know, I'm not I... into that stage anymore. I'm not in that... I've never been in that stage. Yeah, don't, uh, don't make me a psycho because I know where I am, no, just a I bad habit. Make... So don't chat shit, yeah? You understand? Mm -hmm. Don't talk shit, because I don't like it. So, Chris, can I call you? Yes, please do. Yeah. Okay, Terence is my name. Okay. I've got a big heart. Oh, I Believe bet. me, I've got a I really bet. big heart. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, take care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care. Bye-bye. Don't talk shit, because I don't like it. OK, let's bring this back to... Let's bring this back to, to your symptoms, OK? Yeah. So, um, apart from the anger, have you... You've mentioned on one occasion you rang your mum, you said you felt like yeah, ending yeah, your life. Do you I remember having that conversation? I myself, I said, I'm going to... Kill someone else. <laughs> That's the reason I end up in police station. And okay, okay. Do you feel like that a lot? Do you feel like you have a lot of anger? Do you feel that you're you're likely to harm other people? Yeah. Yeah. I quickly get angry. Mm. I lose my temper quickly. Okay. So here's the thing. We know that smoking marijuana as regularly as you are doing ha definitely has mental health side effects. Yeah. Okay. So I think there's a lot of evidence now gathering about the link between cannabis uh, use and in particular skunk uh, and mental health problems. In this consultation, I spoke to Daniel quite a bit about some of the other side effects that maybe he'd been experiencing, things like seeing or hearing things that aren't there, um, but also other mental health problems like uh, low mood and depression um, often coexist with cannabis use, but often the first point of call is to try and address the drug habit before you then go on to try and deal with the mental health problems. So, you know, you've done the right thing by coming here today, OK? I think that's a positive step. Yeah. So, first instance, I think we need to get you some help um, with a, one of the drug workers who works in the drug clinic in Slough. I would really appreciate that. Yeah. So, if you feel that 
some of the side effects, so your anger or you feel that you're feeling like harming yourself or anything like that, you must come back and see us, okay? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we can also, we also need to refer people sometimes to um, psychiatrists who deal with mental health and drug abuse, okay? But I think the place to start is to try and get you to reduce your amount of smoking and, and, and eventually stop it, okay? okay. All right. See you. All right, take Thank care. You. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mr Chiapetta, yeah. come in. Thanks for waiting. Thank you very much. Just see me. That's OK. Take a seat over here, please. That's it. My name's Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Hi there. How can I help you? I just cut my finger on the What were you doing? I was cut, trimming the door with a circular saw my hands today. OK, was it a circular saw? OK, I'll take that off and we'll have a look. That one is not bad, but this one will look quite deep. OK. I put half a roll of tennis. Yeah, I can see. Are you diabetic? <laughs> yes, I am. OK. Oh, you're uh, good at uh, DIY, are you? Yeah, can't be. <laughs> <laughs> you can okay. see how good I am. That's it. Right, let's have a look here. So what state are, are the doors in at home now? Oh, it's all right. I've been kicking the door. <laughs> OK. <laughs> And I didn't destroy the saw either. You didn't destroy the saw. <laughs> no. Those circular I, saws they all, they're, they can just, be lethal, can't yeah. they? Oh, this is really wrapped round, isn't well, it? I could stop bleeding, so I... Where's the end of it? I think it's on the bottom. I've got it here, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Make a good mess. I think that might need stitching, you know. Hold that on there for me, please. It's quite deep. You being diabetic, you've got to be really, really careful, as you know, with your, yeah. you know, your extremities, your fingers. Yeah. Can you feel this? Yeah. Can you feel this? Yeah. It's a bit dull, but I still feel it. A like bit it. dull, yeah. yeah. So we just need to make sure that there's been no um, damage inside the finger, oh, yeah, yeah. okay? I'm going to put a dry dressing on here for yeah, you. Okay. This one, I'll dress it, but you do need to go up to um, the a &E and probably you might even need an X-ray on it because that's gone in quite deep. Okay. okay. OK. Right, if you hold that there and I'll just get some bits and pieces. Will you take yourself up there now or not? Yeah, well, I have to go pick my wife up, anyway. not Yes. She works in the hospital. She, what does she do there? She works in the uh, catering, in the, ca in the oh, kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Oh, my goodness me. It'll get you out the washing up, anyway. <laughs> OK, let's just... Mm. I'll just quickly write you a letter. All right, and then, then I'll, I'll just go up straight up there, yeah. Yeah, and then okay. go up to a &E, OK? OK, then, I'll just uh, be a few minutes, all right? All right. Yeah, no worries. Thank you, sir. You take care. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you very much, Dr Joanji, as usual. Thank yeah. you very much for your help. You're yeah, welcome. Nice to see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Calm down. Just take your time. Your weight was 73 kilograms in January, so you've lost 10, 10 kilograms since then. 
This monkey suddenly jumped on me and bit me on my right arm. Oh my word. Somewhere around here. Walking along down the street, I was then waking up, like my brain had just stopped working. For okay. 15, 20 minutes, whatever. Just felt that life is worth living, you know? What's the bother? I'm not doing anything. I'm not, you know, there's no life there. I'm never doing anything about it. Okay. But it does come in my head. You can hear it. Your voice. I lose it. Yes. I yes. lose it. I've had it for 12 days now. When I've been at work, it really does come on strong. Yeah. Everyone calls me Frank, you know what I mean? <laughs> Surgery. Yeah, what's your date about? Right there. Yeah. Not there. Not there. But there. You still don't do it the right place. <laughs> you have to put an X. <clears throat> I'm going to put an X. Yeah. <laughs> Two, one, that's good. Getting better. Yeah. I don't need to see you to the fortnight. Lovely. I'm not saying I don't want to see you every week, but I'm sure you don't want to be up here every week. I don't care. Somewhere to go. <laughs> I, used to see, I to love talk your to. blouse. It's lovely. It's lovely, isn't it? £4 mm. eBay. Really? I just thought, 32, 34, that'll do me. As long as it comes with my big swollen arms, I'm at me. What sort of time do you want, darling? Same time, time, time yeah. Super for me, yeah. But I told you I'm having the man, didn't I? Yeah. Have you heard yet? No? Well, yeah, I've got a letter through. Oh, but... did you do it? No, I don't know what to do with it. Don't you ring... Don't you meant to ring up and just tell him this pass... Did you have, like, a password on it? Yeah. Both. So that's an assessment, is it? Yes. Say to me, you've got to lose a bit of weight, you've got to do a bit of this. Well, yeah, because yeah. I might say you need to use a stone before you start doing it, or... I'll tell you what, if I lose a stone before doing it, I won't do it at all. Mm -hmm. I never had a weight problem up to ten years ago. Really? No, as big as you. Never had no weight problem. I told you I was a stripper for years. Really? Were you really? Yeah, I was a stripper for 22 years. Oh, bloody hell. I had a figure to die for. There was not, wasn't anything out of shape, nothing wrong, mm. small bust. Just hips to match. Lovely legs. That was my favourite bit, my legs. Ken McLaughlin, please. Come through. I've got a medical student with me today, if that's all right. That's fine, yeah. Good, good. Come in. Have a seat. This is... Right. This is Cian. Cian. Now then, what can we do for Cian then? Um, I've been sent here by the missus, really. Uh huh. She just wants to get him checked up. Um, okay. He has, he's been refusing food a little bit. Right. He's normally he eats all, all uh -huh. day. He's a good eater normally. Isn't yeah. He? What about any diarrhea or anything? He's. I've got a picture. If you want to see it, but go on, let us have a look and see. I don't want to gross out, but you can't really gross a doctor out. <laughs> no. Right, that's what we got. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty mucky. That's, Do you see that? It's kind of like. Can I? Let, can the student have a wee look and see? It's kind of like rice pudding. Yeah, that's pretty loose. When when was the last time it was like that? That was at about nine o'clock this morning. This morning. Okay, fine. I'm just going to stick this in his ear and check yeah, your temperature, that. young man. Yeah, can you hear it? Beep, 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 beep. Oh, boy. That's grand. 37.3. Not yeah. too high at all. Let's see. So the skin's good. I'll just feel under there. That's good. Ah, oh, you don't want to. Can I have a feel of his tummy yeah. then? <laughs> Hello. What's this? Put that there. What's that? Wow. Good boy. Look, put it there. Right, yeah, he's, he's almost, his tummy's OK, yeah. but noisy, but not just what I would expect with right. a bit of diarrhoea and sickness. If he gets a temperature, a little bit of calpo, plenty of fluids, a little and often. If you find that suddenly he's got blood or anything in his stool, come back and see us. OK, then, take care, nice to meet you. Thank you. What is it, above high, high five? five? High five! You do high five? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're a rascal. All okay. right, thanks very much. Well, take thanks care. very much, have a good day. Well, very much. You too, thank you. No, no, I'll better. Terence Burns, please. Hi, sir.
Oh, nice to see you again, sir. How can I help today? Um, I've been having these panic attacks over the last month or so. I've been trying to um, just blow them away and think, mm. oh, you know, there's nothing wrong. But, of course, what's happening, I'm waking up uh, at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, not going back to sleep. OK. I'm getting in the car, driving around just to loose, try and um, forget everything. And that means I'm not sleeping, I'm not eating. OK. And on Saturday, I was walking in the slough and I had another one of these dizzy spells. Mm. And nearly f went flying all over. Like, lucky I had my walking stick and mm. managed to stay upright. Okay. But I just don't know what it is, you know? It's... So explain, explain what happens when, when, you, when you get a panic attack as you... I just, I just feel um, lost and um, completely alone and I, mm. I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah. I'm lying in bed and all of a sudden it comes over me. Yeah. So it'll wake you up from sleep? Yeah, and I've got to get up and yeah. I walk around and I, I just feel... Yeah. Um, Does it mainly happen at night? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it has, well, it happened mostly at night, but it's been happening now during the day. During the day sometimes. as well, OK. Yeah. And, and, and obviously it's been getting you down, I can see yeah. it's affecting you kind yeah, of... Yeah, really. You know, I feel also. really just, I don't know, just, you know, no energy, nothing to mm. do. Um, I've... I was looking forward to retiring, um, getting out there and yeah. playing golf. Yeah. And, of course, yeah. my shoulder then went and I can't play golf, can't swing a club. Mm. Sounds like, actually, the, the, the physical problems seem to be kind of bothering you the most yeah. here. And that yeah. if we could help you with that, mm. then maybe this will help yeah. these episodes of panic. Yeah. I mean, it certainly sounds like you are having panic episodes. Yeah. Um, that's usually the commonest cause for these types yeah. of emotions and yes. feelings. Yeah, I know that, you know. Yeah. Saying I always felt that, but I always yeah. felt I could get over it. Yeah. But over the last six weeks or so, it's just been getting worse and more and more. Okay. You know. Absolutely painless. Thank you. And no fainting. Always That's a good. bonus. That's very good. <laughs> there is this dizziness all the time in me. I don't know what's, what's causing that. I've got uh, problems with my balance. When you're standing up or when you're sitting down or when you're in bed? Standing up, feel myself going backwards. Really? At first, it just felt like dizzy. I wanted to sit. Yeah. So I just grabbed the chair and then as I was about, I didn't even know what happened. Yeah. It was an emergency. They injected me in the bottom. Right. And it done the job. Is that because you were spinning round? Yeah. Come down there. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Um, so I've had a read of the, the notes from you spoke to a doctor yesterday, didn't you? Yes. So this sort of collapsed episode. Yeah. So walk me through it. What happened? Basically, I was uh, walking along. This is in Manchester. OK. Um, I was walking along down the street. Um, like I was talking to somebody and then just, you know, I was then waking up. Like, OK. No time had passed, no... Yeah. You weren't aware of the kind of time in between. Yeah. Just found yourself on the floor. Yeah, just okay. found myself on the floor looking up at, like, the ambulance people and stuff. OK. Um, I wasn't aware of any nausea beforehand or okay. dizziness or anything like that. It was yeah. just like I was like my brain had just stopped working. For okay. Like 15, 20 minutes or whatever. Um, I think I mentioned epilepsy at one point. And okay. Like, that's probably what it is. But it is different to what I've had before. Okay. And what were your episodes like before? With what was? Can you walk me through a typical? Um, what I remember is usually like. I'd feel sort of dizzy. I'd usually have time to like articulate something, like, yeah. oh no, I feel funny or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. be down, down for count. Um, and I would go unconscious for a brief period, yeah. uh, not very long though. Okay. Um, and usually when I woke up, I would have vomited. Okay. Um, can I just have a listen to your heart? And I just want to do your blood pressure and stuff as well. It's all right, you're all right. So... OK, so there are two things going around in my mind. Okay. I think the first one is to find out whether this is something to do with the epilepsy that you used to have in the past. Yeah. I don't think that this is a simple faint. Right. 
because um, often they get an idea that it's coming, they kind of get tunnel yeah. vision, sweat no, out. No, no, it's like I lost 20 minutes. And, and the other thing is it wouldn't have been for as long if it, it yeah. would have been, you know, a few seconds or minutes that you'd have been out, not the full 20 minutes, right? Um, the other thing is, though, when I was looking at your heart monitor, there's something about it that might link in with all of this. Most of it is not that worrying, but there was this thing about what's called first-degree heart block, which by itself I wouldn't have expected to cause any problems, but sure. I don't know whether that's an avenue we might need to explore. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a referral to the neurologist. And the second thing is, we've got a GP here who's got an interest in cardiology. I'm just going to get him to scan this again and okay. just give me an opinion as to whether he thinks we should go down that route as well. Oh, sure, um, sure. So you'll hear from me if that's the case. If these happen again, mm -hmm. then I think it's A&E or coming back to us, depending mm -hmm. on what it's like and how long it is and all that yeah. sort of stuff. Um, but certainly make sure that we're aware if they're, they're continuing to happen so we can expedite things if we need to. Sure. Um, and I'm not going to start you on any medication at the moment. Okay. Is that yeah, all right? Yeah, that's lovely. That's okay, good. That's what I'm after. Good. Take care, okay? Yeah, thank you. No problem. See you. See you. Bye. <coughs> and, and what sort of things had you, had you started to think about what you, what you might try and do to, well, to kind of get through this? Were there things that were, were going through your mind? Well, I hate to say it, you know, but uh, I just felt that life is worth living, you know? Really? Uh, I sit sometimes there and think, you know, mm. I'd never do anything, don't think get that, I'd never do anything yeah. about it. OK. But it does come in my head. Um, Those thoughts that maybe yeah. it might not be... Why should, you know, what's the bother? Yeah. Why live, you know, cos it's not... I'm not doing anything, I'm not, you know, there's no life there and, yeah. you know... So it does sound like you've been quite down and, and it sounds like there's symptoms of sort of, of, of panic and anxiety but also low mood as well, yeah. um, or depression in yeah. another way. Yeah. There are a couple of things we normally suggest when you're feeling like this. Um, the first thing is to consider a form of counselling, OK, um, where you speak to somebody to talk through how you're feeling, talk about your emotions, and maybe kind of build in strategies to try and deal with that. Yeah. The other thing is um, sometimes we consider medications as well, um, so antidepressants yeah. can help with these types of symptoms sometimes as well. They're not the cure, but they can, in the meantime, help with yeah, some of the symptoms. Yeah. The other thing is there's um, a good resource, um, Age, Age Concern, have you heard about them? They have sort yeah. of centres locally in most yeah. towns. You're not alone in feeling like this. No, there's no. lots of people in your position who feel yeah. perhaps that even some company sometime in the week would help to make them feel a bit more positive. Yeah. Um, and there are sort of befriending services and things like that that are, that are accessible. Mm. That might be something to maybe look into as yeah. well. What I will do is I'll give you some information about um, the counselling. Again, it's not everybody's cup of tea. OK, so what we could do is start you on a, on a low dose of this tablet right. that you take at night. Mm -hmm. um, you take one tablet. Um, there is obviously scope to increase the dose if we need to. Yeah. Um, but maybe we can give you that perhaps for, for a couple of weeks in the first instance. Right. Bring you back, see how you're getting on with it. Yeah. Um, and then if there's no, no issues, you can continue them sort of in, on a longer term basis. Oh, yeah. I never thought I'd be in this position, you know, where I, <laughs> I have um, these episodes, you know. I've yeah. always been quite a strong person. And, yeah. But then I've always been active, you know, doing of things. We'll, we'll definitely walk right back to orthopedics and, and, okay. and try and see how, how we can best help you. OK. OK, lovely. <laughs> All right, so That's we'll catch up again in two weeks. Lovely, thank All you. Right. Thank you very much. Take care. I like this. I want one upstairs. Yeah, it's really yeah. squidgy. It's easier, yeah. It's comfortable. Yeah. Just put my head on it and have a nap every now and then. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye. Bye. How are you getting on? Not too bad. A bit mm -hmm. fed up with it all, but um, you yeah. know, it's one of those things. It turned into an ulcer, and uh, hopefully you'll be pleased. I was pleased on Friday. Oh. Not yeah, it's losing the gunge now. It's yeah. just got the blood, and she said it's that <laughs> new word for it, gunge. <laughs> oh dear, 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 dear. Oh, it's itchy last night. Oh, oh it's itchy around it's, it's, it's a dead skin, isn't it, really? Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Do you know it's... you're the only one that does that? <laughs> cold water. Oh, it's lovely. I wash it with cold water. It really is. It looks like it's getting some new skin yeah, here, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's got granulating. That's the word, really. Like, I couldn't yeah. think of it, so I called yeah. it gunge. Yeah. Gunge. <laughs> Is that what you meant? <laughs> yes. I couldn't think of granulated, that was the word. I'll have to yeah. think of gran granulated sugar.
My husband would be 80 this, uh, today. That's it. Yeah, we're popping up the cemetery just to say our lows. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 80. I can't 80. believe it. He would be 80 today. Wow. I'd like the whole getting married. That's what my daughter wants to do. Yeah, I like that. Like to get married. Yeah. No plans on having any kids yet. I'd like to do it the nice way. like the, And I'm not going to say it's the proper way, because people do it differently. Yeah, yeah of course. Cool. No, I think it's just it's nice. Yeah. The whole idea of marriage, like, if it's you can make it work. It's fashion again, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 My no, nanny and granddad were married for, like, 47 years. Like, I couldn't imagine being with someone for that long. I'd want to kill him by the night. <laughs> How are you getting on? I'm good. Yeah? yeah. Good. When's your due date? It's actually my birthday. Oh, so really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so let's see how that Both goes. my kids are born on New Year's Day. Really? So, so No way. Uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, random list. Things. No, no, they're three years apart. Oh, yeah. So I know that it's an odd Things happen for odd reasons. Do you mind getting onto the couch? Um, and, sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody tells me I'm really big. Really big. So I'm already starting to worry, but I think it's just because I am small myself. Okay. It's more like a horse. Galloping. A fast train. <laughs> yeah. That's how you differentiate it from um, your own heart. Absolutely fine at the moment. Mm-hmm. Good. So I wish you well. Um, it's one of the nice few times I get to see my own patients, or, you know, in antenatal as well, so it's good. So hopefully I might see you through the journey or afterwards. Okay, yeah. Great. Yeah. All I'll right. try and get appointments with you. Sometimes it's a little bit different. Yeah, it can be. You don't have to <laughs> see me directly. I mean, we all work together. But yeah. somewhere along the line, we'll meet. I'm sure. Okay. Great. Okay. Yeah. Take care. Thanks Bye. Lawrence Rooney. That's us. Hi. Come on in. Hello there. Thanks Hello. for coming over to see each other. How are you doing? All right, so I think I'm looking at you after we did this ECG this morning, aren't I? Yes. Um, and you'd seen Dr Bulger about problems with dizziness. Is that yes. Right? And then she said, let's do an ECG with some bloods and things. That's um, how are you feeling at the moment? Fine. OK. How's the dizziness going? I'm glad to say I'm not... I, now, I must admit, there are times when I do feel my balance is not right. OK. But it's only hit and miss, you know. OK. So... A colleague of mine had a look at the ECG after it was done. I'm quite reassured. They're worried about a particular element on the ECG, which is one of these, these little small spikes here being yeah. a little bit too far away from the big spikes. But actually, it's just about borderline. And there, are, there isn't a pattern here that makes me worry that this is something abnormal, actually. So I was looking through your um, history just to make sure that it's not related to certain medications or problems with the blood tests and things, which it isn't. So I think this is what would be called a normal variant. So I will leave this with Dr. Bowles just to make sure that she agrees with me, yep. OK? And then I think you just follow up with her routinely, if that's OK. Yeah, yeah. Put your mind at ease. But as I say, like, there are times when I feel my balance is not right. Yeah. I usually get it if I'm bent down and come up. Usually when I get the dizziness, I sweat. All the sweat just pumps out of me and my, my stomach is upset. So the common thing is to do with changing position. Actually, as you get older, this gets more common, whether yeah, you're a man or a woman. And it's, it's to do with how your blood, your body manages your blood pressure. Yeah. So if you imagine you've got to get blood up to your brain, if you're standing up and you just oh, left no, it to no, gravity. No, no, I've got no brain, so that's no worry. Oh, well, uh, in that case, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> I, was, I was just uh, so pleased that he's actually got a heart. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so far, we're, we, you're in danger of having both a brain and heart, I think. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that, you know, when you, when, when you stand up, your body has to manage your yeah. blood to get up to, the, up to your brain, because otherwise it'll just drop to your boots. Yeah. And that mechanism can slow down a bit as you get older. So what happens is you, when you go from lying to sitting, sitting to standing, it might take a few minutes to catch up with itself, which is why you get that dizziness. Yeah, well, I was always slow anyway. <laughs> well, if you didn't have a brain, I sort of understand. <laughs> but for, if, you don't, if you don't mind, I'll leave that. I think that's probably what's going on, but I'll leave it with Dr Baldry because you've got that follow-up with her, but yeah. I'll leave the ECG to make sure she agrees with my assessment as well. I'm happy. And hopefully it will stay as you are, with both a brain and a heart. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Take care, OK.
Well, you don't need any paddies with a brain, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Bye. I called you quite a long time ago, I don't know, I don't know. but you didn't hear me, so it's okay. All right. I won't do it again. <laughs> I'll waggle my finger at you. Naughty boy. Why would I have to check in just... when you actually told me to come here oh, at 9.40? I apologise for what's happened no, no, this it's morning. it's not your fault. No, but I, 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 am, I'm, so I am sorry. sorry for what's happened. It's because it's a cosmetic reason they've refused the uh, funding. It has to be in exceptional circumstances for it to be removed. They fund everything else. Come in. I've got a medical student with me today, if that's all right. That's fine. Do you want to grab a seat? You spoke to my colleague <laughs> on the phone. Sorry. That's all right. Right. First of all, I don't like the surgery. And that's me being honest, OK? OK. Look at the dose now. What's that telling you? What am I looking at here? You tell me, darling. You're the doctor, I remember that. Well, I, I, I well. haven't seen you before. and I know you haven't, here. but this is why I've always said to them, I need my doctor that knows yeah, me yeah. and knows the files. You see what but I'm saying? I've had a look at your files, but I'm, I'm not sure yeah. what you're asking me to look at. And I've just seen this now, because I've just is opened it? up my eyes. I'm having seizures yesterday. Yeah. Other epileptic people I've been talking to about this at meetings. What? I'm not sure what you're asking me to look at. Right, I'm asking you to look at the new dose that I'm taking. Of? I don't know how to call it. I don't know how to well, call I, it. I mean, I suffer with memory problems. Sorry, yeah. Baze, I'm not having a go at you. Yeah. I've only just, just noticed it. So I'm saying, who's told them to change it? If, if it's written down as rules that doctors are not allowed to change something, but only neurologists are, why is it getting changed? What, is it, what is it that you think has changed? Buravalakadakt. How do you pronounce that? Uh, Bravak Ah, OK. It looks to me as if it's one twice a day. That's what it says. What's the dose? It says 100 milligrams. Right, so one who changed it? On twice a day. It says I'm going to... I haven't... I don't know until I have a look and see. That's what I'm saying. So, okay. now so what do you want me to do? Because you? you're... Are you coming about this or I'm about your ankle and your back? No, I'm coming about my ankle, ankle. but I'm okay. saying, who do I go to when someone makes a mistake about the doses? OK, just bear with me. I'm so scared now. This is why I'm having a panic attack right now. I'm sweating. Yeah. You know, I, I not... don't mean to be a human. No, no, no. no. But, on, but on just, 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 just let me... I have to go come out and have a little look. Are you guys busy today? Um, this is my first one. I started at four. Oh, OK. You really risk having a, a stroke at this stage, really. With, yeah. With that but I said it's high. Pressure. So what do you want me to take? Are you happy to restart just one at a time? That's great. Thanks very much. Just to let you know, if they're stuck in walking. How do you mean stuck in walking? It's stuck in walking, but nothing. Hello. Um, uh, Dr O'Donnell here. Fortunately, you've got wax in both ears. It's rammed right down onto the onto the um, the eardrum. Oops. Yeah, caused by the cotton bud. Oh, excuse me. Hello. The ambulance is here for your patient, and they're asking for a doctor. Excuse me, one yeah, minute. Sorry. The crucial thing in medicine, particularly in paediatrics, is to get good at recognising when a child is, generally speaking, well, yeah. and when they're not well or ill. And you'll see that at 50 yards. Okay. Yeah. But it's just the experience. I've been having a seizure. Found in town, laying on my back, so I went up on the floor, banged my bone. It's hurting when I'm sitting down. Can't go to the toilet properly. Banged the back of my head in Bedford Town. This is Bedfordshire. The two children, luckily, the ambulance came, people standing all around me. And luckily, my uh, younger brother's dad saw me again, because we just said bye to him, and he saw me, ran over to the children, said, what's happened? This is a lot of seizure. She's unconscious still, the ambulance. I think I had tubes or things around me to help me breathe. The last letter from the consultant neurologist that I can see from when you were discharged says 100 milligrams BD. Yes, and when I rang up, what does the next one say? Because they always say this place, when they send letters, you don't get them. Yeah, but, but normally we'd expect to get a letter for, of change and stuff. And if you ring him right now and got through to somebody to say we de definitely sent you a letter, I just don't know what. So what? What are you, are you telling me? You used to be on 175. No, 75 twice a day. 75 twice said, a day. This is a new dose they just put me on. I was an inpatient in March. I came yeah, out yeah, in yeah. Um, April. All I can do is sort of get in touch with them and try and sort out what 
they want you to get on to. What I'd say is, what about this pharmacy? Find out who's made the mistake because they should have all my updates. They won't. They, they will. They have been issued you what has been issued from here. So it's leave it. What you'll have to do is leave it with me because I'll sort out this problem yeah. and then I'll we'll go sort to it out. I think. I think I should just try and get to Chalfon. Well, no, we'll try and what we'll try and do I'm is we'll ring them and see. I mean, I, I will speak to Deb and see what's sort of happening, and I will sort out the, the get the dose sorted out then. We're not going to. This is a consultation about what's wrong with I'm you. So sorry, you no, no, no. What I'm going to do oh, is I'm going to make an appointment for you to see the practice manager and discuss with one of the doctors. So you've got some time because there's a I'm ten shaking, minute appointment. I'm shaking. Yeah, it's a ten minute appointment. We're sorting this out. I I'm can't sort out. I can't sort out all the other stuff, and it is a little bit confusing. This was a complex consultation with Serena because she normally has a twenty minute appointment and only had ten minutes. She was in a lot of pain and very agitated and upset because of the pain. I hadn't got all the information for Bedford Hospital about what had happened when she had her fall and seizure. And finally, she was given the wrong medication at the pharmacy again, which had upset her once more. I oh, know, I'm so, so you sorry, listen. I won't bring this to yeah. you. Right, calm down, just take your time. Uh, you've got it, there is an issue. I will make an appointment with the practice manager and then one of the doctors to go through this with you so we can sort it out. In essence, our training does train us to look after people who will be very angry when they come in and may then actually hopefully feel a little bit better and less angry, upset, stressed when they leave. Do you okay. see why I'm so flippin' angry with them? I, you can see you're angry, but, but, uh, but it's difficult for me, cos I, I can't... And you're should... asking me questions that I'm not going to be able to answer without going back they and through things. They shouldn't be putting this on you. No, no. Let me... Let, 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 me oh, okay. everything. let me look at your ankle this. and your back and see if we need anything. So hold on to that, but I'm trying to sort of see what's... Um, Please take copies of everything and give it back to me, darling, because I don't trust the system. Yeah. They're making complaints about me. <laughs> and they're forgetting that I'm the one taking medication. This is all happening all through the flipping years. I can't take it anymore. I've got children to look after. I want to get on with my life, and it's very flipping hard. I what can... I'm deciding to do, I just want to get off the flipping drugs. I don't like them. Yeah. I can understand it, but let me just... Let me just... Just bear with me a second. I'm Sorry, just trying... I'm not blaming you, babe. I'm no, not... no, no. I'm just trying to... Like right. Karana Bashi, please. Hello. Hello. Hi. All right, come and have a seat. My name's Julie. So, what's been happening to you then? We were on uh, vacation in Thailand. Oh, we were on the tourist island on, mon on a monkey beach and this monkey suddenly jumped on me and bit me twice on my right arm. Oh, my word. Somewhere around here where yeah, you can can't see, see it anymore yeah. and here where it's already healed a yeah, bit. Yeah, it's a bit better now. Oh. And so because of that, you've got to have some rabies vaccinations. Yeah. Yeah, and you've had two already? Yeah. Yes, I had two. So this is your third one? I had one in Thailand and the second one in Indonesia. Oh, OK. Up to 60,000 people die worldwide each year from rabies in the developing world, mostly in Asia and Africa. It's a really nasty infection uh, that attacks the nervous system and the brain, and it is almost always fatal once the person starts to get symptoms. So you're obviously very brave if you're having all these injections, aren't you? <laughs> the injections do hurt quite a lot. Do they? Yeah. Mm. You must be used to these by now, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't get used to needles. No, okay. Oh, just sit nice and stuff. I'll make a boy. Ow! That's it, you're doing really well. Ow. Lovely, well yeah. done. Yay! That's it. <gasps> right, good job. Are you too old for an I've been brave for the nurse sticker? <laughs> <laughs> He's ten, so do you want a sticker? E Are you too old for a sticker? Yeah, so I've got these ones. They're a little bit older. I don't, there's a monkey on there. You maybe not want the monkey, <laughs> as it was a monkey no. that bit you. No, we don't want the monkey. No. I want the whale. I'm going to have the whale. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. OK, so that's mine, and... Uh, Yes, so, and we'll see you in a week's time. Okay. All right, then. OK, then. Bye-bye. Bye.
So I'm not so this, okay? Because you need to learn about this. If you can be a helper to people, then you could do a lot of help. Just, just a second, right? So going back, I can see where Dr. Iyer is giving you the 75s, but it's it's not on the system. I will get that sorted out. So there's 75s, okay? You don't take on but but what I can't see is why it was started on seventy five. That's why it was given to me this morning. Every Wednesday, my my yeah. every week dose comes. Yeah. So this morning, because I had the seizure last night, the aura I fell down yeah. the pit. I'm yeah. not. I'm half asleep. I woke up at quarter oh, past yeah. eight. Took no. Yeah, and took yeah. my dose. So I didn't even look at the bloody colour. I wouldn't yeah. have taken yeah. it. Yeah. But but in a way, it'll give. It's supposed to give you more protection. And if you're fitting, then you would have to go to a higher dose. That would be normally yeah, what would happen. Normally, but he said if it's not working, you have to come over it. Have you read the side effects? No. No, I haven't, but I... I'm having yeah, yeah, headaches yeah. constantly. So, so you're staying on the 75. Easy. Let me sort out the 75, but what I will do is I'll... Or listen, so we, we can't deal with it in 10 minutes. I'll organise a meeting with the, practice, with the practice manager and one of the doctors to go through to try and sort it but out. you see how it's making me have more... Well, seizures. absolutely, but we haven't even looked at your ankle and I thing, know, and we're, so we're now sorry. half an hour I'm so in. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let me look at this and see. Let's deal with it. And you twisted that at the same time or not? I it was, don't know. Yeah. All I know is I was looking at the bush yeah. to the think, should I go in there? And yeah. I went to turn around. I now, saw it here, is it? Yeah. OK, that's it's fine. all at the front and under yeah. the foot. Now! Sorry. Okay. And under the foot. So I can't put that, no yeah. pressure yeah. on it when okay. I walk. OK. <laughs> OK, sorry. You're very obviously very uptight at the minute. And that's... The thing is, where you have bought... I'm absolutely convinced you haven't broken this. Brilliant. You have torn the little ligament here, the ATFL ligament, it's a bit bruised, but where you have got bony things, mm. it will settle down. We will give you some... Have you taken any pain relief for it? I just don't like painkillers, I don't like drugs. You don't like... What you could do is put some ice on it, yeah. gently sort of try and move it up and down, yeah, slowly, and use your crutch and put your weight through it as you're allowed to do, if you don't want to take any pain relief. OK. Mm -hmm. Shall I give you one-off prescription for the 75 Please. of the medication, and then what I'll do is I'll get somebody to sort it out. Please. Yeah? Let me, um, let me just do the, the other one for, for now, then. OK. Let's try and get... I think it's worth getting you to a prolonged meeting see, so we can sort it out. Thank you very much. OK. At least you've understood that. Thank you. Yeah. Because ten minutes is never going to sort it. I know. OK. Thank you very much. So I will get them to ring you. OK. OK, all the best. Take care. Bye-bye. If anybody's got an appointment, you can see your self-checking screen. It is easy. But I can use it, anybody can. Catan for Tania? You can come through and have a seat. This is Halima. And how are you? Not so bad. How are you? Not so bad. Fine, thank you. It's recovering, trying to. Yeah, yes. you've not been well, have you? No, no, it's been, it's been, it's been very, a very productive three it's months. Been yes, uh, it's, it's been very difficult. Yeah. So now it's kind of. You're getting there, do you think? Yeah, I'm getting there, yes. Yeah. So Good. It's, uh, just got a couple of three things at the moment. Yeah. Obviously, first is my weight. Right. I'm kind of concerned about my weight. You've lost weight, have you? You've lost weight. Yeah. And yeah, I think you look quite different from the first one. Actually. Yeah. I'm kind of concerned about as to what I can actually do to yeah. to build that up because obviously it's you know, I have to look at my stomach. Kind of yeah, because uh, I saw you. Well, it's back in February. So yeah. it looks like you've lost a lot of weight since mm -hmm. then. Um, and then the other two things. Uh, I need some more uh, Creon tablets as well as uh, Tramadol tablets as well. Okay. Are they helping for the pain? Yeah, for the pain. Yes. Pancreatitis is inflammation of the pancreas, which has two main functions. One function is to help with the digestion, and the other one is to produce insulin, which helps lower blood sugars. He's on some medication to help with the pain, and he's also on a medication called Creon, which will help with digestion. Did they ever find out what the cause was? We don't know if it was alcohol or steroids or nothing anything. Nothing whatsoever. No, and you don't drink alcohol in excess? Uh, I no, I used to drink, right. but I'm not in excess. OK. Well, so we still don't know what the cause is. And are they seeing you again in the hospital? I've got an appointment with a gastroenterologist this week. OK. Right. I've also got... Uh, They're keeping a close eye on you, yeah, really, then, aren't yeah. they? 
It's difficult, isn't it? Because you can't eat anything that's going to cause your mm. pancreas to flare up as well, so you're avoiding all the fatty things. Um, but you're on the creon, you said, as well. Creon, well. So that should help too. Mm. And then we need to make sure that we're still seeing you regularly. Um, and we can check your blood tests anyway, mm. but seeing the specialist regularly yeah. to try and find out what's happening and why, mm. why, you're, you know, why you're losing weight yeah, yeah. and why you've had the flare-up of the pancreas as well. Mm. OK. I just want to find out how I can build up my weight as well because I'm Yeah, we'll, we'll check your weight today yeah. and then I'll see what we've got from the past with your weight. OK. 63 at the moment. 63, yeah. yeah. You know, I've been cut out all the sugar and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm eating all that, all the pastas and brown pastas yeah. and stuff like that. So your weight was 73 kilograms in January, so you've lost 10, 10 kilograms since then. Oh, You're feeling pretty good and you'd run a marathon if you had the choice. OK. <laughs> so you want me to jab you again, eh? Gel for feather-light legs. Relaxes, soothes and refreshes. You're not pregnant or breastfeeding? No. <laughs> well, according to that, then you're able to use it. <laughs> oh, your bag. There we go. Well spotted. That would, have been, that would have been on eBay. No hurry. What I'll do is I'll go home and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay. <laughs> no washing up, no dusting, no cleaning, no uh, ironing or anything like that, basically. <laughs> Come and take your seat. Do you know what it is? It's, it's, I play golf, it doesn't hurt. Mm, okay. But there, I can't lift it anymore. Pop um, this off and pop your shirt off. Okay. Let's do a few exercises. Okay. Up we go. There you go. So, there okay. you go. <laughs> I'm really courtly there. Can you go and can you push it further past that? Don't, just slowly. No. Okay. Nice and relaxed. Just let me move it. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Two beer cans. Hold them out like that. Okay. Move them out a bit like that. Okay. Yeah. Tip them out. Push up against me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you do. So you've got. This is. Uh, it's called impingement. Okay. So your shoulder joint is a ball and socket joint. Okay. So you've got a ball here and you've got a socket. The socket's really shallow, so that means it's essentially it's really an unstable joint, and it's held together by four very big muscles that hold it in place so that it doesn't move too much. Now, for whatever reason, either the muscles get a little bit weaker, or maybe you've you know hurt them slightly, or whatever, who knows? But that allows this to move around a bit further, okay? And then that starts bashing into all the into the sure, things sure. that are in there. So there's uh, fat pads that are sitting in there. There's other tendons, and these can become inflamed. So what can I? Yes, I can do a steroid injection to allow it to um, settle some of that inflammation down. And I'm going to give you some uh, exercises. So how often do you get out to play golf? Uh, once a week. Yeah? Once a week, yeah. yeah. Once, twice a week, do you play golf? Uh, mate, years ago, when I was in Australia, I used to, oh, because okay. I sort of did a shift pattern then, but now, if I had played golf, my wife would kill me. <laughs> so, so do you think this will heal up? Or do you think I'm hoping so. Prick now. Just put a bit of that over the top. Okay, mate. Thank you very much. I saw you in February and you look noticeably different. Different, yeah. yeah. It might be because you've been unwell, you've been in hospital, mm -hmm. you've not been able to eat properly. properly yeah. I think, you know, sometimes with the pancreas, mm. you can get more worrying things, can't you? Yeah, so we need to get those checked and make sure that we keep monitoring you and finding out what the cause could be. Yeah, could cause be, yes, Catan has had some significant weight loss, and this is always concerning to GPs. I believe that his weight loss is because his pancreas is not functioning properly to help him with digestion. However, we always would need to exclude something more sinister like pancreatic cancer, which also causes significant weight loss. And I'll give you the sick note as well. Thank you. So it's until the 30th of September, and then if you need a further one, if yeah. things are still ongoing, then come back. I'm still looking for a job as well, so I'm kind of... I'm going to try and get this sorted out, because obviously... I know, we've got to think about health first, have health first, yeah, so if I don't I want to go back to work, Look at what did you used to do for work? Uh, I'm an IT consultant. OK. So I went back to, go to work, got bills to pay, got a kid going to university yeah. in oh, September you? as well, so... OK. So when I get back in... Yeah. 
All right, so that's your sick note. You've had one before, so you have yes, before, you know yeah. what you're doing with that. Okay. That's the tramadol, but the other prescription for crayons gone to the chemist. Yeah, chemist yeah. And if you can book in to have your blood tests whenever you can okay. as well. Yeah. And they're just routine tests, non-fasting, so whenever yeah. it's convenient for you. OK, right, that's great. Okay. okay, thank you very much, Doctor. That's all right, nice Cheers. to see you. And you as well. Thank you very much for seeing me today. Take care, then. Cheers, have, Bye -bye. And you as well. have a good day. Bye-bye, you thank too. Thank you, have a good day. Bye. How are you? Yeah, right, thanks. Good. How can I help? You can hear it. Your voice? I lose it. Yes, yes. I lose it. I've had it for 12 days now. 12 days? Gosh. Does it hurt? It don't hurt, but it gets worse. And I, I literally try to speak to people, mm. and I'm like, this is the best it's been. I haven't, because I ain't spoke. I've been saying all day. When I've been at work, it really does come on strong. Yeah. Everyone calls me Frank, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so did it start with a cold or anything? No. No. OK, let's have a quick look at you then. I'm just going to take your temperature. OK, that's all right. Do you smoke at all? Yeah, I smoke and I have a drink as well. How much do you smoke? Uh, 20 fags a day. Okay. And I vape. I've been, like, vaping as well. OK. But I, I did sort of knock it on the head for a little bit and then I started smoking again. Are so you trying to give up smoking then? Yeah, I know. 2010? I had the tablets then, I think it was. Did they help? Uh, they helped a little bit, yeah. Can I do that again then? Yeah. yeah. Would you like me to prescribe you something? Yes, please, yeah. Because okay. that would be really good if you could start that now, because your voice would probably be get a lot with better. You, I've, I've had a lot going on as well. Yeah. Do you know, I'm going through a divorce and everything. That's why I sort of start smoking again, because mm. it's all, it's like, not a very good one. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot involved. You're it's worrying me a bit. Pop your mouth wide open for me. Oh, it's quite red in there, isn't it? Oh. You said it doesn't hurt? It doesn't hurt, no. Have a listen to your chest, all right. Do you want to put behind the curtain? It's a big tattoo. Yeah, I've got to get it finished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK. There's a few squeaks in there, OK? Yeah. Let me shut it down again and we can... <coughs> because your throat is really, really red and swollen, I'm going to give you some antibiotics, OK. Because I think it could be all due to infection. So yeah. if your voice hasn't come back in a week... Yeah then we need to be sending you off to see an ear, nose and throat specialist, OK? Right. Is that all right? Yeah, that's okay. lovely. Thank you right. so much. OK. All right. Good. Cheers. And Thank you. When we see you next time, you won't be smoking. No, no. Okay. Good. <laughs> all right. Have okay. a good Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. See you later. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. OK. So Not at all. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. OK, thank you very much. Thank you, mate. All right, thank take you care. Okay, cheers. All the best. Cheers. Okay. All the best. Bye. Have a good day.